All right, guys, so we've got the season finale to the 2024 Supercross season. We have a 2024 Salt Lake City Supercross here. And this track, uh, I talked about it a bit in MX versus ATV Legends with that replica track. But the design of the track was a little bit or is a little bit disappointing. I kind of was hoping, you know, for a finale, it would have been cooler. If you remember when the races, the season used to finish at Vegas, uh, some of those tracks were really cool. Uh, this one, I was hoping for a little bit more. Maybe it'll race really good. I don't want to say it'll be a boring race because I've said that before and it turned out to be a really good race. So hopefully it races well. I mean, it doesn't mean the racing won't be good and that's the main part. If it races well and uh, all that stuff, then whatever. But I don't know. It feels kind of mid or below mid. A little bit disappointed. Let's just jump into it and check out 2024 Salt Lake. Okay, so I have a lot I want to talk about in this video, but first, before we get to the the discussion, I guess, let's get a track walk in first person with the last race winner, which would have been Jet Lawrence. So that rhythm lane we just went through, there really isn't any line choice I made for it. I made it to be taken that way. Maybe if I validate it, you can find a better way, but that's the way I intended you to, to take it. Then we had the bridge, a bunch of back and forth, behind the start straight we have a roller into a whoop section into a 180 which i feel like this will probably be a decent spot for passing um just because some riders will jump the whoop some of them will skim them you know that might be a decent spot for passing the finish line um 290s going across the start straight the super cross triple then two jumps a table and a jump so I don't know if they will triple to the step on, step off, or if they'll roll and then step on, step off, or triple over, roll. I'm not really sure. There is a few different ways you could take that, um, especially in real life. And the hardest part about that rhythm section, I feel like overall, I'm going to say it right now, in the video game, I'm very, very happy with the way this track turned out. It actually was kind of fun in the video game because it's really fast and pretty flowy to be honest with you, and i um, just pretty happy. I would say this is one of the better tracks that I've done this year, so overall, pretty happy with it. Um, but yeah, I the track, I really wanted to see a cooler design because I said it in the intro, if you didn't see, if you didn't hear it, but there are some 180s on the track, but the way, where the 180s are, you know, going behind the start gate across if the start straight was there just back and forth i feel like that's a really tough spot to make a pass and yeah it's a 180 but it's just really hard to make a pass there and then after the whoops going into the finish line i feel like that one will probably have some passing opportunity and the 90s work you see riders make passes in the 90s but it's just much more difficult and then there is a 180 after the supercross triple but um, I just don't feel like that's going to be a great spot for passing. So overall, I don't know. I mean, it just, I feel like we've seen a bunch of tracks this year. There have been some really good ones, but I feel like we have seen a lot of tracks that had the back and forth across the start straight. In this, um, in this instance, it isn't across the start straight necessarily so much. It's behind the start straight and, and kind of across the start straight. So um, yeah, just... A little bit disappointed but maybe it races really well so jet lawrence ended up winning he extended his points lead over webb he has a 20 point lead going into um salt lake so he's pretty much secured it i mean anything can happen but i mean let's face it jet is just he's getting more consistent and reliable and just it's just um hard to bet against him right um, so Jet won and Hunter got second. I was really, really pumped for Hunter to get second. I've been saying it throughout the year, but I'm a pretty big fan of Hunter Lawrence. Um, just watching him ride and, you know, just a big fan of Hunter. And it's his rookie season too. He has a bit or, or has had a bit of a more difficult rookie season, but um, overall he's done well. I mean, remember, I don't know. I mean, I don't believe anybody's forgotten, but he's overshadowed by Jet. He, he, I mean, this is a guy that won the 250 Supercross and 
250 outdoors, right? And he has not won a race. He actually has only had two podiums, I believe. He didn't even make the main event at Anaheim. So he's really turned his season around, and it feels like he's he's figuring it out. He is getting better, and I'm really happy to see him do well. He actually was in the lead for, for a while, right? He was in the lead for a while ahead of his brother, and then Jet made a pass on him. It was a, just a nice pass. Hunter didn't really fight him for it, and... Then Hunter kind of hung with him most of the race. I believe he had only a 1.8 gap over Hunter. Jet had a 1.8 gap over Hunter at the at the end. And maybe maybe Jet wasn't really pushing it. We don't really know. But either way, Hunter was able to keep Jet in sight. And um, it was just really cool. Really cool and really happy for Hunter Lawrence. And then the third place finisher would have been... Jason Anderson. I believe this is the second weekend in a row he has gotten third, and he rode incredibly well. I feel like it hasn't been talked about enough how well um, Anderson has rode at the last two rounds here. I mean, he's gotten third two races in a row. Last weekend, he had to come from behind and make a last corner pass on Webb for third, and then this weekend, or you know, last weekend, I guess it would be last weekend, and then the weekend before, after that, but, um, for Denver, he just kind of rode really well, and didn't have to make quite as many passes, and, and whatnot, and he was able to keep the Lawrence brothers in check, kind of, I mean, they did gap him, but I saw the fastest lap times from the top three guys, and Anderson and Jet both had a 54. They were very, very close. And then Hunter, not sure. Hunter might have been a 55, but Anderson was riding really well. And I feel like he had pace to run with both the Lawrence brothers. So pretty cool for Anderson to get third. And then Webb, he got fifth. He actually was passed by Sexton at one point, I do believe. But then Sexton went down again a second time. He went down kind of off the start, I guess. But um, Webb lost a bunch more points it turns out he has a thumb injury from Birmingham and I see some people saying oh he's making excuses and whatnot and maybe he is I don't know but um it would explain the arm pump to some degree he's using his I, I think it's his left thumb he's using his right arm more and he can't grip a but he can't grip a bike and uh that's why he would be pumping up so I wouldn't I wouldn't say he's making excuses, but, um, yeah, I know some people said that. I just, I don't know. You know, you don't really know. People were wondering why, why not say anything until now, but I don't know. I don't know why things are done. <laughs> I just know I can see it being true that he did have a thumb injury. And then, uh, so, Webb, I mean, unless something really crazy happens with the Jet, Webb is probably going to get second place and then Tomac I think I'm not sure I believe he got 10th I think he went he went down in the main event um and this is the the venue he tore the Achilles so probably just wanted to get through the night he really isn't in the championship battle and just wanted to get through the night finish out the season because it is news he has revealed he is going to race the motocross season and the super motocross playoff races and then i think he said even he has intentions on racing 2025 so that's good news i'm really glad to see tomac i know i want to see tomac be a beast outdoors and you know run with jet i don't know if he's going to be able to but i want to see it i know some people are saying no way but um i do want to see it and then the 250 race was pretty exciting shimoda got his first win of the year and then kitchen got second hampshire got third Hampshire and Kitchen are tied for points going into the final round, which is an East-West showdown. So, crazy stuff. Um, really, only one championship title is close, which would be the the West, I believe. Every other one pretty much wrapped up as long as they ride careful and don't do anything dumb or whatever. So, yeah, and the track is pretty safe. It appears to be pretty safe. Just, um... Wish it could have had a cooler layout or design or some more, you know, 180s and promote more passing and not do the back and forth over the start straight so much. I mean, where the bridge was, they could have done something else. They could have added 
a few things to make it cooler but whatever if it races well again that's all that really matters so um let me know in the comments what you guys think but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot and until the next video take it easy